Hey, how are you kind of students? This is Jacob Clifford. Now I made this quick practice video to help you with something that I guarantee your teacher professor is gonna add to your next exam. There's gonna be at least two or three questions on it and the good news, it's super easy. That's so easy! So you should be able to do this quick. So here we go, let's practice. Before we begin, if these videos are helping you learn and love economics, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to a million subs and you can really help me out. So thank you. Here's a list of 15 transactions. Your job is to figure out if each counts or doesn't count towards GDP. And if it does count, identify which one of the four components of GDP does it count towards, C, I, G, or X, Ed. Again, this is relatively easy, so you should get 15 out of 15. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Okay, here we go. Good luck. All right, how'd you do? Did you do well? Let's go over the answers. Number one counts towards GDP. Yes, the home was purchased three years ago, but the new addition is made now, so that's adding to this year's production. But the tricky part is this is not consumer spending, this is actually investment spending. It's actually part of a subcategory called residential investment. It's because a house is an asset that provides a service. You could live there, or you could rent it out. The point is, if one of these questions asks you about new construction or adding on to a new home, that's not consumer spending, it's investment spending. Transaction number two also counts in GDP and it's also investment spending, but this time by a business. Number three doesn't count towards GDP and it's not because a person is a foreigner, it's because they're buying mutual funds, which is a financial transaction, and that doesn't count towards GDP. So if you see a question where people are buying stocks or bonds or CDs, that doesn't count towards GDP. Number four counts in GDP as consumer spending. Number five counts in GDP as exports. This is a foreigner buying stuff in your country, it's going back to the other country, that's an export. Number six counts in GDP as government spending. This is a public university buying a stadium, that's G. Number seven doesn't count towards GDP because number one, it's a garage sale and that's usually done under the table and it's also old furniture and old things don't count in this year's GDP. Number eight counts in GDP as investment spending. And number nine counts in GDP as exports. Number 10 is a little trickier. It's a pharmaceutical company that's paying for a drug that's gonna come out next year, but they're paying for trials. That's investment spending. That's a business spending money on a product. So number 10 does count in this year's GDP as investment spending. 11 doesn't count in GDP. This is a used good. This is an antique stamp and it's basically an asset. Number 12 does count towards GDP and since these are foreign cars, this is imports. Number 13 doesn't count in GDP because that's considered household production. Number 14 does count. That's considered government spending. And the last one, number 15, does not count towards GDP. This is just someone paying off a debt. Nothing new is being produced. Okay, I hope you did well. Let me know in the comments below how you did and let me know if videos like this are helping you. If you need more help and you want to increase GDP, take a look at my ultimate review package. Thanks for watching. Till next time.